At Space Launch Complex 41, an Atlas V rocket is fueled and ready to launch the USS F-7 mission of the 6th X-37B Orbital Test Vehicle Flight for the Department of the Air Force. Good morning and welcome to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. I'm Tyler Strickland, a trajectory engineer from ULA's mission design team. Produced in ULA's 1.6 million square foot factory in Decatur, Alabama, the 501 is comprised of a common core booster powered by an RD-180 engine and a Centaur second stage powered by an Aerojet Rocketdyne RL-10C1 engine. A Ruag 5 meter diameter payload fairing protects the X-37B orbital test vehicle during ascent. Together with the Space Force, ULA is honoring healthcare workers, first responders, and other essential personnel on the front lines. And with this launch, we also stand in solidarity with those personally suffering or experiencing loss due to the virus. With today's flight, the Boeing OTV spacecraft team also wishes to remember one of their own, who recently lost his battle with cancer. Vincent, Vinny de la Torre, was a key member of the OTV propulsion team, who served on the launch and recovery teams for more than a decade. Thank you, Vinny, for all you did to make Boeing and the OTV successful. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, there's ignition, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with USSF-7 for the United States Space Force on a mission dedicated to America Strong. Good. Party 180 has gone to closed loop propellant utilization control. You are hearing the voice of Rob Kesselman providing launch vehicle ascent data. The pitch our roll program. Vehicle body range look good. Now, 35 seconds into flight. Atlas is now just under one mile in altitude, traveling at 900 miles per hour. Engine pump speeds and injector pressures are in family for this thrust level. Vehicle has now completed the pitch yaw roll program. Now 70 seconds into flight. Atlas is now 4 miles in altitude, 0.4 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1,200 miles per hour. Vehicle has passed Mach, Mach 1. Vehicle is now passing through maximum dynamic pressure, max Q. Party 180 is now throttling down slightly as commanded. Pump speed response looks good. Now 150 seconds. 115 seconds into flight, we're now 14 miles in altitude, 5.6 miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,000 miles per hour. Vehicle has now begun closed loop steering. The vehicle is now half the weight it was at liftoff, burning propellant at a rate of more than 2,600 pounds per second. Approximately two minutes remaining in the Atlas booster phase of flight. Centaur reaction system is now pressurizing flight levels. Atlas is now throttling to maintain 2.5 G acceleration limit. Now 180 seconds into flight, vehicle is 44 miles in altitude, 40 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,500 miles per hour. Approximately one minute to Biko. Q 
standing by for payload fairing jettison. We have indication of payload fairing jettison. And Centaur forward load reactor has also jettisoned successfully. Atlas is now throttling up to a 4.6 G acceleration limit. Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence. Atlas is now at 4.6 Gs and maintaining that acceleration limit. EU has gone to closed loop control. Boost phase chill down is complete. We have Pico booster engine cutoff. Standing by for stage separation. Stage set, we have successful stage separation. Restart on the RL-10. We have ignition, mess one. Centaur has now begun the first of two RL-10 burns.